Microscopes are an essential tool for biologists to see the tiny things they study. But no matter how much you zoom in with a microscope, some things are just really hard to see. This is partly because when you look at something under a microscope, a lot of things are pretty much the same color. This is where fluorescence microscopy comes in. More than 50 years ago, scientists found a special protein in some jellyfish that make them glow under ultraviolet light. This protein, named green fluorescent protein, or GFP, changes shape when hit by the right color of light. This change in structure makes GFP fluoresce. It absorbs ultraviolet light and shines out green light. With this discovery, the way scientists use microscopy was changed forever. How? Well, you might be familiar with a traditional light microscope. You've got your sample on a stage, a bumblebee in this case, and a lamp sends white light up through the stage to your eye with some lenses for magnification in between. But now we want to specifically look at the brain of this bumblebee. With light microscopy, we can't really tell the difference between different structures. So let's take a different bumblebee, one where we've labeled the brain with GFP. Under white light, it doesn't look like much. But now we add a filter that only lets the right wavelength or color of light through. GFP absorbs this color of light and glows. To make the picture as clear as possible, we add one more filter so only the green light reaches our eyes. And now we can see the bumblebee brain as clear as day. Since the discovery of GFP, a whole rainbow of different fluorescent proteins have been engineered. Red, orange, yellow, blue, and more. By using multiple fluorescent proteins to color different parts of a sample, we can very clearly see whatever it is we might be looking for.